It's interesting because in all those examples you name, the people that are building those companies, whether it's the companies building the autonomous AI-powered war machinery, the first thing they'll say is we currently have humans dying on the battlefield. If you let me build this autonomous drone or this autonomous robot that's going to go fight in this for adversary's land, no humans are going to die anymore. And I think this is a broader point about how this technology is framed, which is I can guarantee you at least one positive outcome. So, and you can't guarantee me the downside. You but can't. It, but if that war escalates into, I mean, the reason that the Soviet Union and the United States have never directly fought each other is because it, the belief is it would escalate into World War III and nuclear escalation. If China and the U.S. were ever to be in direct conflict, there's a concern that you would escalate into nuclear escalation. So it looks good in the short term, but then what happens when it cybernetically sort of everything gets chain reactioned into everybody escalating in ways that, that causes many more humans to die? I think what I'm saying so, is the downside appears to be philosophical, Whereas the upside appears to be real and measurable and tangible right 